So this isn't really going to be a full teardown, but I wanted to take a look under the cover. And this is the AMD Radeon Instinct MI25 that I got in recently. And next to it is a Tesla M40. And I just want to do like a side-by-side -side si size comparison. And uh, yeah, basically I mean it's the same, same size, same thickness, which makes sense because these are server-oriented cards. So they have to maintain a form factor that is compatible with the majority of servers. And I gotta say, despite it uh, being AMD and my personal biases, what a pretty looking card. Like, I love how the Tesla M40 looks, but man, the color scheme and the, the design, it just really pops. <laughs> like, um, I don't know. I'm just at a loss for words, especially when I first saw it, because it's like, dang, this thing looks sweet. <laughs> Plus the design, if you don't have another card next to it, it just makes the card look really long. Granted, the uh, support bracket doesn't help, but uh, I don't know, you know? <laughs> I uh, Credit where credit's due, the, this design is just something special. And this will be working its way into my PowerEdge R720 here, but I have to remove this bracket first. I'm hoping I can do it with... There we go. This screwdriver tip I'm using is not the best. I might have to go and uh, see how well the Harbor Freight lifetime warranty works out. See if I can swap the bits out for another set. I don't even think this is that rounded up. It's just a uh, just terrible bit for uh, number one Phillips. It doesn't like to stay on like my uh really crappy <laughs> phillips number one screwdriver that i love although this uh i fix it little mini driver whatever thing it's a lot easier to get a grip on and spin because it's thicker and it has knurling on it instead of just grooves all right so we're gonna take off support bracket I don't need because I don't plan on mounting this in a PC. Now the next question is how quickly can I take off the top cover? I would like to take the top cover off the Tesla M40 but I'm not going to because it's going to be a huge pain. And I don't plan on going too deep into this because I don't want to have to repaste it. Unfortunately, I'm noticing the more I touch this with my dirty fingers, the more fingerprints I put on it. <laughs> Not that I'm ever going to see this again once it gets in the server. And there is something interesting I'm going to point out once I get the cover off. It's like there's six screws total holding it together. Or the cover, that is. And it does have a nice little aluminum black plate, which is uh, good. I uh, I really like the back plates after I damaged a uh, GTX 770 I had. Still really sad about that. Unfortunately, it's not worth fixing, so I guess I should do a comparison. I already see something I don't like. <laughs> uh, so I have to be careful installing this because it's how I damaged the GTX 770. All these little bypass capacitors there, and um, if you rip those off, <laughs> the card can't negotiate connection speed properly anymore, and your server will crash. Also, these pins look horribly dirty. Mm, this isn't the cleanest paper towel, but let's we'll see if they look dirty or are dirty. Card itself is clean, like it's immaculate. Mm, it's not dirty. This might be how the light looks. But let's uh, double check. I think this has come right off. I may have to get a little creative. Hopefully I don't damage it in the process. Yeah, it feels like I'm going to take the 
the uh, faceplate off as well because these uh, little indents on the side are going to prevent me from sliding it towards the back. So let's take the faceplate off. I've never looked into it, but presumably these cards have um, some form of a standard, like um, chip layout. So a person probably could water cool these if they wanted to use them in a PC rather than a server. That one's gonna be tough. Let's see if maybe I can just slightly flex this out of the way. No, nope, it's too rigid. Oh. Well, it's two screws. This may have been a uh, bad decision, but uh, I want to see what the heat sink looks like, which is part of the reason why I'm making this video. <laughs> oh, I think that'll give me enough to clear it. Yep. And that is interesting. This is an anodized aluminum cover. I guess it makes sense. It's not like they're going to use steel, but... Um, I don't know. That's weird. I don't know if I'll be able to show it. Yeah, it might just be the way the lights were... No? Hmm. I can't... Can't see it through the camera. And kind of... So, right here in the corner, there's like a weird little circle indentation. I don't know why. There's, uh... Two of them. I don't know if those are like tooling marks from when they uh, stamped this texture pattern in there. I'm assuming that's stamped. It's not extruded. I don't imagine you can, you can cut a bunch of uh, tiny little squares. I don't know. That's interesting. I believe this is anodized though. Um, could be wrong. But yeah, I'm amazed. When I was looking through this, how small the heatsink is. Now it is fairly dense. It does look like it's like a massive chunk of copper on the bottom. Um, because it's heavy. But as you can see through the top of the M40, well, this heat sinks all the way down. But this is a 300 watt TDP versus this, if memory serves correct, is 250, I believe. So, yeah. Also, this does use two piece Express 8 pen, which is actually kind of disappointing because I'm used to using EPS 12 volt, but um, I have cables. It does have an interesting provision for a fan header. So, I wonder if there are versions of this that. Um, had fans. Plus it has a buzzer, presumably for if you plug this into the server and turn on no power. It also has a mini display port. I haven't had a chance to Google that, but I do wonder if that's actually a mini display port or if that is like some sort of weird programming port. But uh yeah either way, hopefully that was interesting and uh what a pretty card. I gotta say, I really like how this card looks. Whether I like how it works, that'll be another story. But either way, hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.